In this demo, I'm going to show you how to author a simple experiment using the task editor. So first of all, we create a new task. Let's call it relational reasoning. First, let, let's add an instructions panel. We'll make this static comment saying Then let's add a task display template. What we want is an image with four buttons. The image is going to be come from the spreadsheet and the response images will also come from the spreadsheet. We'll want to know whether we got the right answer or not. We want only the first answer recorded, and this will be static content. And we're going to give people a maximum of 30 seconds to complete each puzzle. And then at the end of the test, we'll have a debrief screen. Now let's upload our stimuli and these are all the stimuli we want. And we also want to upload our spreadsheet. So what this spreadsheet means is that first of all we're going to display the instructions, then we're going to display the task, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to display a task seven times, and this is the task screen that we'll use, so we'll have seven instances of this. And the first time we do it, it will have puzzle one, with puzzle one, response one, response two, response three, response four. And we know that the correct answer is this one, response four A, this answer here. And the source files for puzzle one and puzzle one response, etc., are here in the stimuli. So here you can see this is puzzle one, and here is puzzle one response two, three, and the rest of, there's one, and the rest are in here as well. And that's the first one. And then we're going to have six more, and these are the content for each of those displays. But because they're all in the same randomized block, they're going to come in a random order. What we might want to do, in fact, is add a fixation before each screen. Um, So let's preview this experiment that we've authored. We've got the instructions, please complete the following puzzles by clicking on the missing image from the four options available. So this is the cat. This one is And what we can do is we can download the data when we're previewing it to check that the data has come through properly. Here's the data. And we can see that I got 
five of them right and two of them wrong. So that is how you can author a task in Gorilla.